Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to see love in the general for the sign of Aries for September. So watch this video if you're an Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, if you're dealing with one, keep in mind this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. If you want to have a personal reading, link is in the description. If you want to follow my Instagram, the link is in the description. So now let us see messages for Aries for the month of September. So what is the guidance for Aries for the month of September, please? What is the guidance? So your guidance is the growth with failure. Wow. <laughs> These are such contradictory messages. We have growth and then we have failure. So I see that some of you, because the failure has come on the left and the growth is on the right. So I see that if you have been experiencing failure, then soon in the month of September, your life, the trajectory of your life is going to go towards growth. And you know, this is like growth and failure, both are part of life. So it's not that if you have been experiencing failure that you are never going to experience growth or whatever. And failure is actually a stepping stone to success. Like when you fail in life, um, it is actually a redirection and it is like just try to analyze where you have been going wrong and what lessons can you learn from your failure and how can you turn it into success. So it is basically um, a process, right? So I see that that's going to happen for you in the month of September. Now let's see what the messages are. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Yeah, exactly. So I see that if you had been making mistakes because of which you were facing some failures in the recent past, um, September is actually giving you um, an opportunity to basically introspect and try to see where you were making a mistake and how you can turn it into growth um, and how you can actually use that opportunity to not repeat your mistakes, to learn from your mistakes and correct them and move towards growth in the month of September. So that is what it is. And then with the growth card, we have the message which says, I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. So I see that once you learn from your mistakes and you understand that the mistakes that you were making were just an opportunity for you to learn you will be able to expand on your consciousness and your awareness and that is going to lead to a lot of growth for you so definitely good energies for you um for the month of september Aries. this is a good start already <laughs> all right now let's see what are the good things that are coming towards you in the month of september what are the blessings coming in for Aries for September, please? So we have the Ace of Cups. Wow. <laughs> so some of you, there's a relationship offer coming in, you know. Ace of Cups definitely talks about a proposal. It talks about new beginning in love. Um, so definitely if you have been single and you are ready to mingle, <laughs> you want to be in a relationship, I definitely see there's a very good opportunity for you to come across somebody. Um, this can be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and you will be able to really connect with this person on a deep level. And I see that the relationship is just going to feel really well, you know, like it's one of those relationships which are very heart centered. So I see that um, if you're not looking for a relationship, then Ace of Cups can just talk about um, overflowing opportunities in your life. So let's say you were expecting something, you were like expecting a new job or maybe whatever. And Ace of Cups say that you are going to get more than your expectation. So I see some overflowing opportunities happening and I see new beginnings, right? So which is a very good card. So you will get more than what you expected basically. And we have a card of growth here as well. So yeah, some growth is happening in your life in the month of September. What else? We have Queen of Sword as your blessing again. And one more. We have nine of cups wow it again talks about uh, manifestation uh, it talks about wish fulfillment so i see some some of you definitely like just utilize your um, um your talent your abilities uh, your skills whatever try to put them into action because it's going to lead to a lot of growth towards you some of you i also see that you are going to feel very free in the month of september free as in if you have been um uh, feeling very confined in your life lately I see that finally you're going to feel very free and you will feel like finally out I am out of some sort of a confinement and I'm experiencing freedom some of you this can be freedom from your debts for others of you it can be freedom from um, it may be a health issue maybe um, a toxic work situation whatever it is I, I just see that it's gonna lead to a lot of um, happiness um, in your heart 
you know like your heart is going to feel very expanded and joyful and all of that so which is a great thing another blessing uh, with the queen of sword i see that um if you have been not getting what belongs to you um then with the queen of sword i see that the justice is going to be served to you and um if somebody has been taking away your credit or um you were just trying to hold a lot of pain within you and you were trying to like just um you know like suffer in silence basically i see that you will get free from that and your heart is going to feel much better now like some sort of a inner peace is going to come in and you will feel very peaceful and content within yourself so that's what i see good energies feel and you know the best thing about your reading is that it's not about materialistic things it's more about you feeling happy from within you know once again you're going to feel happy from within um inner satisfaction inner contentment so that's a great energy all right now let's see let's see um your love life aries so give me the present for aries in love give me the present for aries in love king of cups some of you you might be dealing with a water sign cancer pisces scorpio um you right now might be evaluating your options when it comes to love is what i see some of you maybe you have had a history of some past failed relationships and now you're trying to very closely observe your options and you're trying to make a choice right now you're just not very deeply invested right now you're just trying to see um what kind of a relationship can you have and um how deep it can be basically you know you're just trying to be very cautious um in making a decision when it comes to love some of you maybe you received a proposal from somebody and right now you're contemplating whether i should go forward whether i should say yes or no or i should wait or whatever so right now your energy is not very committal i'm not saying that you're playing around but i'm just saying that you're being very 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 cautious that's what i see some of you you're also introspecting whether you want to be in a relationship or whether you just want to be by yourself so what happened in the recent past for aries and love so some of you i see that with the knight of wands maybe you had a very passionate yet inconsistent relationship in the recent past maybe it was your friends with benefit maybe it was a hook up um one night stand something like that knight of wands can definitely talk about somebody who was very inconsistent but this connection was very passionate so you might have experienced a lot of passion with this person this person really swept you off your feet but when it came about really committing with you long term maybe they were not giving you the commitment some of you uh, this person has been very in and out of your life so they keep coming back to you but then they do not commit whole heartedly so that is a problem with them that might have happened with you in the recent past some of you this is your energy towards the cross watcher um so i see a lot of passion a lot of sex but no commitment in the recent past and right now you're just very carefully evaluating your options you're like i'm going to take my time to make a yes or a no what is a blockage for aries in love the blockage is the 10 of cups yeah the blockage is commitment you are looking for commitment and somebody is not giving it to you um some of you this person is not giving you the commitment because maybe they have some family drama going on or others of you this person might be committed or mar married already um because of which they are not able to commit to you wholeheartedly we'll see in the outcome but this can be one of the things so commitment is definitely a problem somebody might be very free spirited and they don't know if they can like for them being committed to you may take away their freedom that's why they are not ready to do it maybe you know or maybe their friend family is intervening we'll see as we clarify what is the outcome for aries in love your outcome is the lovers card wow no matter what is happening we also have three of swords and the knight of cups at the bottom of the deck you have been hurt in love and some of you you're definitely dealing with the water sign some somehow or maybe an air sign gemini very strongly so i see that um, bottom of the deck is three of swords with the knight of cups um you do not trust somebody is what i see and that is because this person might have proposed to you in the past but they did not follow up with their words and this person was very inconsistent um so this kind of makes you doubt their intentions is what i see definitely you're not able to trust someone when it comes to love 
but your outcome is the lover's card so i see that aries you definitely have love coming in some of you you may also be having a choice because lovers talks about a choice so you might be having a choice between two people maybe a water sign and a gemini um i see that right now you're very and we have the card of carefully evaluating your options definitely so some of you you are evaluating your options because you have been hurt in the past some of you maybe there was a third party situation you got to know about that or maybe somebody was very inconsistent this person definitely at one point came towards you with a proposal but they did not um stay true to it and now you're very careful about trusting someone again and that is why we have the card of uh, options here so you might be looking at other options that you have and you do have options is what i see regardless of whatever it is i see that there's going to be an opportunity for you to fall in love you take it or not is your choice but you will have an option what is the advice for aries in love temperance your advice is to take it slow do not try to rush it and try to see what works the best for you basically temperance is when you're not trying to compromise and you're trying to see what works best for you and then you make a choice do not try to do things in a high don't try to choose somebody just for the sake of being in a relationship don't try to get married to somebody because the clock is ticking or your friends are getting married or whatever try to see what serves you and then you make a choice because i see you will be having a choice your message is to take it slow and do what feels the best for you don't try to be under any sort of pressure to be in a relationship aries i'm seeing that very strongly if you can take time you can introspect it you can take it slow you can really think through and make a decision it will be best for you make a wise choice you have a choice make a wise choice clarify this lovers yeah two of ones wow <laughs> it again talks about choices so i see that you have a choice some of you you will be asked to make that next step when it comes to your love life like universe wants you to take to the next level in your love life it wants you to uh, experience the next level but again you have to take time and you have to think through and you need to really plan and try to evaluate the pros and cons and then move forward with your decision don't try to be biased and don't try to just make a decision in a hurry for the sake of it all right so two of ones again talks about having a choice <laughs> and trying to see which way to go because you have two different directions i see you have choices when it comes to love wow i love that let's see your lovers sorry your romance angel give me a message for aries please give me a message for aries this could be the one some of you um I see that you already met the person that you're supposed to be with and now it's time for you to make a choice. You will be at crossroads with someone and you have to decide. So try to see which one is the one that really um is the one that like you know feels safe for you. Be with the person that feels safe for you. That's what I would suggest you. And I see that wow, passion. <laughs> and wedding oh my god some of you you are about to be in a very committed relationship you are about to be in a very committed relationship your love life is about to ascend to the next level and the connection is going to feel very passionate you see how these two people are so madly and passionately in love and look at them is this not the same kind of expression the person that you're supposed to be with you are going to have a very passionate bond with them but it's going to be passion and stability both not just sex passion and stability both some of you i see that you have you've already met the person that you're supposed to be with or you're going to meet them very soon and i see your love life is going to be at crossroads now is the time that you make a choice you have you have maybe options when it comes to love so just make sure that you choose the right one but wow wow what do we have for you lovers the love is in the air um if you're single you will not be single anymore you definitely have an option coming in i love that so that's your reading i hope this helps to resonate if it does make sure you subscribe like share comment i will see you very soon in the next video till then you guys take care stay safe bye